1971, we enjoy every performance that we do and every crowd that comes out. We've got a great crowd out here today, and I can see we've got a nice day for it. So in a few moments, we'll be getting started. We have a number of categories. We've got our madam category. We have saloon ladies. We have a children's category. We have male townspersons, female townsperson, gunfighters, and the ever-present cowboy. Now, all of the costumes are judged on their authenticity. We have a panel of three wonderful judges. They go through and check to make sure that our costumes are right. No zippers, no polyester, that sort of stuff. And this evening at 5.30, we will have an awards ceremony and there are first, second, and third place trophies awarded to the winner in each category. But mainly, this isn't a competition, it's just a lot of fun. I think especially for us girls, because you know all of us girls love to play dress up when we were little, and now we get to do it when we're all grown up, and we really enjoy it. So as the folks come down, I'll be introducing them, not by name, but by category, talking a little bit about their costumes. And of course the main thing is, we hope that you'll enjoy and show them your approval and enjoyment by a nice applause. Keep in mind that many of the girls make and design their own costumes. And we have several groups that have traveled quite a distance to be with us. We have the Ace High uh, Gunfighters, we've got the New Mexico Gunfighters, we've got the Territorial Troopers, and a lot of other nice visitors. And with the price of gasoline being what it is today, we sure appreciate all of you taking the time and spending the money to come out here and smell, sir. They're all, we're all family. We love this. Oh my goodness, unless my eyes deceive me, there, is a, there comes a madam that I think, well, she's made her money and she's on her way, and look at this one, she's still carrying her money. Well, well, it looks like, lady, you had a nice time in Tombstone. Oh my goodness. I wondered how she was going to manage showing those pantaloons, but she always comes up with something. Look at that money in that satchel. Why? Any of you guys have any money left, or did she get it all? Anybody got any money left? Well, hang on to your wallets, because here she comes. That's the Rosa Tombstone right there. Oh, and another beautiful red and black. Look at these colors, ladies and gentlemen. And now I believe this ends our madam category. And here come, there's a saloon girl. I bet there's more saloon girls on their way. Yes, there are. Oh, look at these beautiful, beautiful gowns. My word, girl, I bet you performed in the birdcage, didn't you, dear? I thought so. Many, many people came to watch those lovely performers. And some of these saloon ladies, I'll tell you, they made an awful lot of money too. Sometimes they didn't give everything they were supposed to to the madam, so guess what? They got to leave town with a few dollars too. Yes, they did. And the saloon girls certainly had their part, but these ladies, the townspeople, they were the ones that kept this town together. They raised their children, they taught the squirrels, they were seamstresses, they took care of the miners when they were wounded. They were just wonderful, wonderful frontier ladies. So let's have a hand for these ladies that representing the wonderful courage of the ladies of the old West. And they still had time to make their gowns and to appear on a special holiday looking absolutely lovely. Oh yes, okay, there's one whistle. Let's have some more applause here. Let's let these ladies know just exactly how much fun we're having today. They're all just lovely. It's a pleasure to see all of you. Oh, we're just so happy that you all came and entered. We still have some more towns, towns ladies approaching, I believe. 
Very elegant, my dear. As you can see from the length of the category, there were a number of ladies in Tombstone back in the day. You bet there were. We had a, a very large population and many, many families. There weren't just gunfighters and cowboys. There were a lot of fine family folks that lived here. A lot of miners, of course. And some of the ladies even took time out to have children. And here comes one in its little carriage now. Aren't you just lovely, madam? Wonderful. Oh, how old is that, dear? This pram is about 85 years old. Isn't that something? And look, the darling baby sound asleep. Well, that's, that's wonderful. If you can sleep through all this, darling, more power to you. Oh, and here comes another pram. Well, and you know, back in the day, girls weren't allowed to, to play in some of the sports, and so some of the girls got around that, and we got one coming right along here. By gum, she's going to play baseball for Tombstone, and that's just the way it is, so there. My goodness. But we love it. Have you folks describe your appreciation of them by giving them a hand? Here we go. That's great. Thank you. I know, it's hard to applaud the little camera at the same time, but you're good. And the parasols were certainly important during weather like this. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely buses, gorgeous hats, all the colors. I think we've got every color of the rainbow and some that maybe aren't in the rainbow. Come by, it made up today. It's just beautiful. And now we have, following our lovely ladies, we have the children, representing the children of Tombstone. They went to school here, they played here, they grew up here, some married and stayed, some went on. But we had a number of wonderful, sweet, adorable children in the town then. And look at how sweet they all look. Our kids are just beautiful, yes. Show the children how much you love them. Well, and of course, there were the male townspersons. Look at all the money. And now we're, we're followed by the male townspersons, and they could be anything from uh, some of the uh, the Indians that were in the area to members of the cavalry over there at Fort Huachuca, to um, miners, just or uh, innkeepers, shopkeepers, the general male population of the town of Tombstone. And these men have got some fine, fine costumes as well. And you know, just because they're guys doesn't mean they don't like applause. So come on, let's have some applause for them too. with the men here as well. <laughs> Members of the cavalry that were still very active back when Tombstone was in its heyday because there were still some renegade Apaches running around and they still, well, we folks still had to have some protection from time to time. So these men have been busy and, and helping us out for many, many years, and these gentlemen that are representing the background. 
group that they friend. This is this is his first time in uh, in our parade, and we welcome him, and he looks great. Let's have a hand for our mountain man here. We got another one down there coming, I know. And let's see, this looks like it might be Doc Goodfellow or something. Oh, this is the Honorable Justin Case. Well, we don't want to give him an applause, do we? Nah. Well, yes, let's do it. He looks fine. And here's our other mountain man. Oh, you didn't get your eye fixed yet. No, still got the... Let me see. Ooh, that eye works. <laughs> well, you know, I, I kind of suspected that too. And now we have our final category, which are, of course, the gunfighters. Excuse me, I, I beg your pardon. These are the cowboys coming up, aren't they? Yeah, we've got our cowboys coming up here. I beg your pardon. Mm. Yeah, well, there's a dapper-looking gentleman. Well, let's have some more applause. I think they all deserve it. It's not a long walk, but it's, it's kind of a warm one, so we appreciate everybody doing this. I wonder how many of these cowboys coming up took their Saturday night bath. Hmm. I wonder. I expect some of them did. Bet they even put on their clean, sturdy shirts for the occasion.
Let's have a big hand for these gunfighters because boy, they played a role in the Old West. There's no question about that. Of course, you know, there's a story that goes around that gunfights were won by the fastest straw and the best team. Well, sadly, uh, uh, that wasn't always true. Sometimes they just kind of managed to sneak up on you. <laughs> but that's okay. That's what legends are made of. So these men are just reenacting a legend for you. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> Some more gunfighters here. Let's have some applause. I guess we won't whistle with the guys, but we sure can cheer. Let's cheer them all. They're great. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to lay this microphone down because, as I told you, this parade is brought to you by the Wild Bunch and the Hell's Bells. I'm a proud member. I'm going to walk down to join my Wild Bunch family so that I can be a part of this parade also. Thank you for coming and don't forget the two shows coming up. Thank <laughs> you. 